And yes. Welcome back to Ed Hunts. Today we are in Doncaster. Just in cash converters before we head to game to check out their insane 50% off discount sale. We're just here to see. Okay, so as you probably saw from that little intro, we watched an Ed Hunt video that he went to game and they had a good sale on the 50%. We knew it was coming. They'd obviously stopped trading in and I knew one day they were gonna go down, but there was no heads up really. So sadly, we saw that in the morning, the day after. I got there, there was there was quite a bit still, but not as much as what there was there the day before. So I'm, I'm gutted I missed out on probably some good deals, especially Switch games, there was only four left. Yeah, the, the staff said there was quite a lot of people buying absolutely stack loads. But I did get some good things and I'm going to show you exactly what I got. So it is very horror themed, I've noticed. I've been playing a lot of horrors recently. So on the video, I went to the Metro Center store. They only did the sale in the actual like standalone shops, not the Sports Direct ones. Luckily, I live near two. So after this, I actually went to Newcastle. This is what I got from both stores overall. So first up, I got the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I've only played it on 360. I played it a couple of times and I feel like I need to play it again. Last time I played it, I said I would do it completely different and I didn't. I ended up playing it the same character, same style. I feel like it, it's not fresh in my mind anymore. So I'm looking forward to playing this again. And then we have Uncharted 4. Uh, I love the Uncharted games. This one, I remember completing within a few days. I just, I got up, played it. That's all I did all day. Just played it three days straight, finished it. I've not played it since. So yeah, I kind of want to play through them all again. I've got them all now. Uh, on the PS3 and then PS4, so yeah. I'm probably gonna go through them soon. Next up, I got the game called Songbird Symphony. Uh, I remember seeing about this when it came out, but I forgot about it. It's basically a, it's kind of a cutesy little 2D scrolling game, but it's also got like some like beat matching kind of elements to the puzzles. So I really want to pick it up. I think it, I got it for £1.50, so I was like, I mean, if it's terrible, it doesn't matter, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it. It looks, it looks quite cute. Another one that was quite cheap, I feel like it was only about £152 and it's called Concrete Genie. I've never heard of it. Kind of reminded us of those like arty games that the, the PlayStation 3 used to do. So I feel like, you know, it says puzzle game and it looks it looks pretty. Again, for, for £152, I can't remember what it was. A bargain. Another game that I've never heard of. I don't think I can say the, the full title. It's, it's Void. I picked it up because it looks, it's kind of got that cell shaded vibe about it. Kind of like Borderlands. It just looks like a fun kind of like shoot em up. So yeah, I have no idea what it's about. Again, this was about 150 as well. So if it's if it's not great, then you know, it was only 150. Yeah, the next few are gonna be very much horror themed. And that is Man and Medan for the first one. A game that I did start and didn't finish at like many games that I picked up, but I, I did enjoy it. I don't know why I stopped playing it. I think something else came out and then this kind of just got put to one side and then I ended up trading it in at some point. So yeah, I need to play it and finish it this time. And then we've got a sealed copy of Resident Evil Revelations. Um, I do like these games. I know they weren't to everyone's taste, but I found them fun. I'm kind of good at sealed because I do want to play it, but I kind of don't want to open it because something about a sealed game, it's not something I see as often anymore. Um, yeah. And then another Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 7. Uh, another unpopular opinion about Resident Evil. I just, I found this one hard to like. I didn't finish it. I think I kept getting chased and I just, I hate being chased in games. I want to kind of, I like slow pace puzzle games, elements to it. And yeah, I just want to look at the scenery and, and find out things, but I just kept getting chased and I gave up. I was like, I just can't do it. But no, I, every time I say I haven't finished it and I'm a Resident Evil fan, people keep saying I need to finish it. And it is a really good game. So I will go back to it. I'm probably going to play through all of them again and I will get to this one. And it's another Resident Evil game for the next one and that is Resident Evil 4. Like I said in a previous video, I do think it's a bit overhyped this one, uh, but I did enjoy it. I did finish it. I've never played it more than once, so I'm kind of excited to play it again on PS4. I've heard there's a few extra changes to it as well. So yeah, I'm excited to play this one again. And another Resident Evil just they had a lot of, there was a lot of Resident Evils. There were some other ones there as well, like five and six were there, but the price was kind of just what they would have been normally. So I, I, there wasn't any point in picking the number up right away. But Resident Evil Village, um, it was really, like PS5 as well. I forgot how much I paid for it. I feel like eight or nine pound, really good price. I played a demo of it and I enjoyed it, but I just never got around to picking it up. I just, I, I begrudge paying so much for games when they come out, I'm not gonna lie. But now it's cheap, I'm gonna, 
definitely give it a playthrough. I'm very excited to play this one as well. And then the game I picked up was Evil Dead The Game. I think it was around five pounds. It looks really good. I'm not really much of an online player, but I do want to play it just because I love Evil Dead and it's, it looks like it's got bits from each of the movies and the TV show. So yeah, another one I'm looking forward to playing. And then another game that I've never heard of, but it's a horror game, PS5, again, probably about seven pound I paid for it, if that, uh, called Phobia. Um, if you played it and it, you know anything about it, let me know in the comments, by the way. <laughs> the back doesn't really show much either. I should probably look at some gameplay to see what it looks like. But yeah, like I say, I'm very much into my horror right now. So I'm going to be playing very soon. And the last one, not a horror game. Another one I wanted to pick up, but just didn't want to pay the full price. And that is Teeny Tina's Wonderland. Uh, this was £5 as well. So a PS5 game for £5. I just can't go wrong with that. So I love the Borderlands series and I've seen this like a little bit online. It looks really good. And yeah, another one. I mean, again, I've got so much to play. I will get around to it. So yeah, that was all my pickups. The PS5 games recently have dropped so much in price. So if you missed out on a little games like me, then I definitely recommend checking them out now because they have got like 10 pounds some games that I've been picking up from CEX, uh, absolute bargains. So I know I did miss out because I went the day after, um, but I did, I did get some good deals. And if you did manage to get some absolutely amazing deals, please let me know in the comments below what you guys picked up. So yeah, that was just a little random pickup, very uh, unexpected. And I have got so many more games from other pickups in recent weeks. Uh, I've also got a VHS pickup, which is a little sneak peek here, which is coming soon. I'm also going to be completely redoing my nerd room, which I'm going to be videoing and documenting as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little short video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.